It's me, Lucy, and today we'll be playing Genshin Impact. Let's jump right in. Today's no good for going out. Hmm, did I say that yesterday as well? You did, and we're back! Woo! Okay, uh, so the last thing we did was made our way into this domain. We are trying to gather tears to power the Holy Lear um, in Devalin. Excuse me. All right. Oh my god, another one. All right, nice. An exquisite loot box. Isn't this so pretty? Anyway. Sometimes I feel like I'm really flying. <sighs> We're done gathering. That was hard. Was it? It's too early to relax. We're still not done with Storm Terror. Besides, the Fatui could also be planning something. Hey, Diluc. I heard that the Fatui have recently proclaimed you persona non grata. <laughs> what an honor. Persona Nobody non grata. Nobody was ever proclaimed persona grata by the Fatui anyway. The Fatui? The diplomatic delegation from Shneznaya? What have they got against Master Diluc? <laughs> The Fatui are a problem not only for the knights, they also present a real threat to the whole of Mondstadt. And when it comes to threats against Mondstadt, Duluc is... <sighs> That's enough, Jean. You knights are subject to too many restrictions. You can't directly confront the so-called diplomatic scum. Personally, <laughs> I despise them. But if you I wear were to a Fatui mask. Eating a cryo slime alive or joining the Fatui? I'd prefer to be crushed to death by a meteorite. Jeez, your wording is so very dramatic. It is. Dude, I love it. Open the chest to obtain Devalin's tear. Oh, hey, I was here earlier. Who would have thought? Just for funsies. Just to see if I can. Alright. Oh, wait, I can't fly back up. How do I get out of here? Wait. What's my next task? Go to the white. Okay. 
I can teleport there, though. I do not think I'm going the right way. Because this is the tavern, not the winery. Go ahead and pick up some new pieces from Shops' blacksmith. I wasn't meant for this world. <laughs> oh, I killed her. I'll race you there. Woohoo! Devoli Protection Squad, assemble! Let's put our crystals together. Oh, the color of these crystals looks muddy. <sighs> Devolin. You're going through so much pain. Let's start purifying these crystals first. Please, Traveler. It is hard to believe such a thing is possible until you've seen it with your own eyes. Interesting. It's like filtering wine. The process is... refreshing. I think we should have enough tears now. So next we... Use the crystals on the holy liar like last time. Oh, how it worked! It seems completely different from before. The liar's animal power seems fully restored. We should be able to use it now. It's all thanks to you. Now, where should we summon Storm Terror? It must be away from the city, else there will be casualties should we fail. Perhaps here at the winery? If the winery was destroyed, it's not something I couldn't eventually fix. But I'd still rather not go through the hassle. Uh, the wind that blows at sea or in high places should be able to carry a bard's words far away. It's never going to work if the air is too dry or suffocating. Paimon understands sea or high places, right? Then the best location to play the lyre would be... Um... Even Amber would never think of doing such a thing. If you go east from Starfell Lake, there are mountains south of the beach. Oh, you mean that beach we were on when you told Paimon about your sister? If you head to where the cliff juts out, that place is known as Star Snatch Cliff. What do you think, Bard? Meets the requirements, no? Let me think. Star Snatch Cliff. All right, let's do it there. Very well. Then let's meet at Star Snatch Cliff when we're ready. Please don't be late. <laughs> yes, ma'am! Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to...
Welcome home. Oh, this is where we started. The very beginning of the game. When I had my existential panic. About what year Kid Icarus Uprising came out. Fancy. Everyone is finally here. What a view! Lovely for a faded reunion, isn't it? Well, we must be prepared for a fight. Regardless of the outcome, things finally seem to be taking a turn for the better. Mondstadt has really been going through so much recently. Huh. In the end, the solution to our problem was as simple as a traveler in a song. I suppose the Knights of Favonius may have played a part in it too. Oh, we get it, Master D. Luke. Everyone, please step aside. I, the best wandering bard of the mortal world, shall begin my performance with the Holy Liar. in your eyes. Sadness that speaks of your yearning for this song. They are communicating. Huh? No! Don't get bored! Do not be fooled by him, dear dragon. He loves you to rot alone. Now he attempts to deceive you once more. Our Beatles. Let your wrath bester! Mondstadt has already turned its back on you! You! You were planning this all along to have me slain by them! No! Listen to me! The time has come for the dragon to serve its true master! <laughs> While you beware your pragmatic settings, watch the world's Devalin. Barbe, Venti, please be careful. <laughs> You've known my true identity for some time now, haven't you, Jean? Though, I thank you for continuing to use the name Venti. How's the Holy Liar? Can it still be played, or does it need to be repaired? <sighs> Unfortunately, I think it's beyond repair. No, we should make that Abyss Mage pay first. If we don't fight the evil at its source, then we can't save Devalon at all. In which case, I shall call upon Outrider Amber to track it down. No need. Why is that? I eradicated one not long ago, in one of the Four Winds Temples. What? When? If you want to track those monsters down, then I'll seek answers from my contacts. I've got other means for getting the job done. <sighs> Diluc. Though he dislikes the Knights of Favonius, he protects Mondstadt in his own way. Oh? Why does our little Paimon sound so doting all of a sudden? <laughs> Wait for my word. I'll be sure to let the Abyss Order know that their blatant disregard for Mondstadt will not go unpunished. Is that my brother? Your Highness, your humble servant returns. When 
I can't remember what There's my brother looks like. Over there. Come on, let's take a look. Okay, so first thing we got to look at. I got a bucket load of new characters, and by a bucket I actually just mean 3. Um, don't know how to pronounce her name. Ningguang, I think. She's Geo. Uh, Noelle, also Geo. And Shyling, yes! Shangling. Shyangling. Shyangling. Shangling, yes! Look at how pretty these statues are now. Look at this. All right, I got. It. I get to go meet D. Luke. Luke's my boyfriend. It goes, Shao. D. Luke. Kaya. I spent a whole lot of primogen um, trying to get Shao or D. Luke, and I ended up getting like the other three, Shai Ling. So they're not. D. Luke. D. Luke. All I can think about is The Abyss Order. Enemies of the human race. Even the underground networks rarely come across any information on them. With that said, it was a bit of a hassle, but I managed to dig up a few clues. Really? That quickly? You really are well connected, Master G. Luke. Come to think of it, Mr. Big Animal God Barbados. Why exactly do you need the help of mere humans? Uh, how do I put it? The Seven, as people now know them, were once known as the Seven Archons. Each Archon presides over their own part of Tevat. That is the role the Archons play. Only in performing this duty can we attain power. But I don't like the idea of ruling Mondstadt, and I don't feel Mondstadt would really like it either. Go forth and establish a city of freedom without rule. We have not forgotten Barbados's wish for Mondstadt. Jean, you're such a devotee. Maybe someone got a little too free and is just too lazy to care. Uh, however it may have come to be, I haven't been back to Mondstadt for an extended period of time. Without a doubt, I am now the weakest Archon among the Seven. And yet you sound almost proud. Aw, <laughs> you flatter me. Oh, such a humble god. Is it a blessing or a curse? <laughs> but we digress. Let's get back to the topic at hand. The common enemy of all mankind. We have tracked the Abyss Mage to the vicinity of the winery. I cannot stress enough how important it is to not let it escape. Let's get her done then. Oh, it can't be awful. <laughs> Dawn Winery's wines are all unique. There they are. Oh gosh, they've seen me. <laughs> That's not fair, I was gonna freeze you! How dare you? You know how strong I am? I guess you are level 28, so you're a little bit stronger than what I've got. You're in for a little Hey, let's go down. Oh my god. Shock. 
Mage was defeated, a certain energy dispersed from its body. It seems that energy was being used to cut off the connection between me and Duvali. Huh. Do you know of Storm Terror's le- Um, I've been there. I've, I've visited it a few, but I, I just... Of course. I believe the people of Mondstadt all know of it. After Duvalin woke up, he took the ancient ruins as his lair. As it was with the storms that previously cut Mondstadt off from the outside world, the entrance to the ruins is also sealed by a special barrier. But now, as the energy dispersed from the Abyss Mage, I was able to read the rhythmic flow of how the barrier's magic was woven. <laughs> I must admit, it sounds even more horrendous than a chorus of hilly churls, but it should be enough to let us break through the storm barrier and reach Storm Terror's lair. Which means we're going to confront Devalin? I'm fine with that. Jean is the one who wishes to avoid any direct confrontation. No. When there are no other options left, it is my responsibility to alter our course of action. If slaying him is our only choice, I will gladly become the knight that leads the charge. Fortunately, we have yet to need to go that far. Hmm? By that, you mean... I mean that the Holy Liar is not our trump card. Our real trump card? The Traveler, of course. The Traveler? Is it because I can fight? Correct. But you have a much more precious forte. The impurities in the tears and the curse that binds Devalin belong to the same Maleficent power. Which means... You tone-deaf bard, don't you see how crazy this is? You've seen what Devon is like when he's ticked off. She'll be swallowed whole before she even gets to lift a finger. Hey. Nice plan. Worth a shot. I am with you, honorary knight. Oh, so we just need to fight monsters from the abyss and a dragon. No pressure or anything. Humans aren't without their strengths. Let's go. And so... Epic actions of brave heroes finally leads to this 11th hour. Audio's a little funky, but all right. So, I'm just gonna cut it here, actually, and then we'll go and fight Storm Terror in the next part. Yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next flippity-flap, flip-flap, flip, uh, uh, bye! <laughs>